Hi, I'm Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation. In this one, we're going to talk about anger because anger is obviously no fun. And when one understands where anger actually comes from, it really does help. So I'm going to try and explain that and then we'll come up with some workarounds for when you're feeling anger, what you can do. I may even give you a technique or two. So let's understand that you are a soul who inhabits an animal body <clears throat> and you have a mind. And the mind is the place where everything takes place, right? Except for it's not where you are. You're, you're in your heart. You're the soul. But you have a mind. And the mind, for outside information, has eyes, nose, ears, tongue. We have the senses. It pulls information in. The primary, primary responsibility of a living thing. Now, I don't care whether you're talking about a blade of grass, a single cell organism, or our bodies. Its purpose is to survive. And so there are all of these instinctive drives that are reactionary. And one of them is anger. So understand, you, the soul, cannot be angry. It's not possible because you, the soul, are infinite love. You just happen to be encased in a body. So if you over identify with the body, then you go, I am angry. But if you remember, I'm a soul, then you go, my mind is angry. And it's actually more accurate. It is accurate. <clears throat> and it's also more appropriate because then you have the ability to control the mind. If you were the mind, well, the mind can't control itself. There's nothing that we know of that is self-contained in that manner. So the mind has switches that are pushed primarily by the body's instinctive reactions to protect it until you step in and you start controlling the mind. So that's how it works. Anger is not you. You are not anger. You cannot become angry. You say, oh yeah, I am angry because that's just how we communicate. But in reality, it's the mind getting angry. And it's very important, it's very important to recognize and accept this distinction that I am not angry, my mind is angry because I can talk to my mind. I can say, mind, you're being angry now is going to do nothing but get in the way of my happiness because that's what anger does. Anger is like this shroud that stops all input from the senses in order to put all of the energy you have in the body into defensive mode. That's its purpose. Anger has a purpose. Unfortunately, what has happened is because we don't take charge of our minds, we're not taught, and we should be, but we're not taught to take charge of our minds. So what happens is the mind takes over and we just roll with it. We, be just, we become its victim. So that's anger. You are not angry. You are not angry. Your mind is angry, so you got to stop. And you just go, whoa, wait a minute. I'm not my mind. My mind is angry right now. And your mind will go, wait a minute, you've just been attacked. And it'll describe the attack according to what's occurring from its point of view that is creating a dangerous situation for you. But it's your job. You have free will, right? You know you have free will. Well, with free will, the first part of using your free will is to discern 
what the mind is trying to tell you, whether it's accurate or not. So let's say somebody, your husband or wife, insults you in any way, shape, or form, and your first reaction <clears throat> is to be angry. Well, if you allow that, it will build the scenario of what caused the trigger in the mind to go off, and it'll start talking about how they have no right, what they did is humiliating, it's insulting, how dare they, they're no better than I am, all of this stuff. You'll get dragged through the weeds, through the thorns, through the rocks. Your mind will beat the heck out of you. Or you can go, wait, what they did, and now I'm giving you a technique. This is a technique of recognizing other people's free will. You recognize that their perception told them something that caused them to react aggressively towards you. You see? So it wasn't even you, can't ever be you, who caused them to be jerks. This is how you deal with anger. Now, learning how to control the mind is a huge project. It's the first project in our course. Because if you really, really want to go far in healing your marriage and having a phenomenal marriage, because your marriage is supposed to be joyous. It's supposed to be joyous. If it's not joyous, just dealing with your anger won't make it so. You know, you and your spouse are obligated to build your marriage accordingly to your design. Your design should be joyous. At a minimum, get one of the books if it's not joyous, but this is just a little problem you're having. But if it's gotten major, you may need the course. Okay, now I'm gonna give you a technique for helping you separate a little bit from your mind and from the anger that is clutching on to it. It's a simple breathing technique. So as soon as you feel the anger, inhale. Tense your whole body. And then relax with an exhale. And then count from 10 to 1. 10, 9. And make your mouth smile. Six, five. And feel your heart open up into your body, filling you with love, calmness. You are love. Be love. Fill your marriage with love. And you will be happy. Okay, advertisement. If you like that, let us know you liked it. Share it with your friends. Look at the other things we have. And blessings and thank you.